I just discovered a new show on CBS called Tough as Nails. It's actually currently a few weeks in. Uh, I just learned about it today, so I just started watching it today. Just wrapped up the first episode and I was quite happy with what I watched. The general idea of the show is let's take 12 people and see who's the toughest. Now, the real twist here is these are a wide variety of people. You know, we have, there, I think there's two contestants in their 60s, uh, six men, six women, people from all sorts of different backgrounds and all sorts of different professions. And it's very interesting to see them all come together and square off head to head. So these contestants were selected from all across America at challenges in in various cities uh, across the USA and to pick these 12 individuals. Um, they're, it's kind of unclear like what exactly they're going to be going up against, but basically they're going to be doing various jo difficult jobs or tasks that are real world applicable and and that's that is kind of the highlight of the show you know these are real people doing real things these aren't people trying to pump up their instagram like many other uh reality tv shows that are on the air uh, these are just people like that that you could have met you know that you could have encountered in your day to day like you'll probably see some of the people on this show and think you know i know somebody just like that guy i know someone just like that lady you know maybe that that lady reminds me of my mom that lady reminds me of my grandma and that is the coolest part of this show so far you know most reality shows i have troubles actually connecting with the people that i'm seeing on screen but here i'm seeing i'm seeing people that you know I've done some of those things that, that certain people are doing. No, not everything. You know, I've never been a firefighter, obviously. But, uh, you know, other things like, oh, yeah, I've, I've done that. I've been with people who, who've, done, who done, who've done that. And it kind of makes it enjoyable to watch. So our first episode, like I said, six men, six women. And our first task is brick laying the first part it was a two-part challenge with the first part being uh hauling bags of concrete so it's kind of interesting you know throw the concrete in the wheelbarrow go down a narrow path narrow and winding path uh, and deliver your concrete to your pallet the winner from this contest would have the opportunity to select to be one of the team captains to select their team Step two of this challenge was actually laying the bricks. Uh, the bricks were judged based on speed and accuracy. And that was the very interesting part. You know, it wasn't just who could lay the most bricks. It, could, it was who could make, lay the most bricks correctly. So we end up with this challenge. We get our two captains. They select our two teams. And from here, we're off to a train yard where the two teams get challenged to build a train build one section of a train track by hand and then pull a caboose uh, i think it was 100 feet or 100 yards down the track uh, you know these are these are things that you see in the real world like you see people building train tracks you see people laying bricks these are facts of life and very refreshing to see our contestants actually doing like things that could potentially matter and i, I really enjoyed that aspect of it um what, one kind of weird thing about this show is you know we have the two teams but they're playing individually for the two hundred thousand dollars so uh, we have the team challenge, which was the, the train and the, and the caboose. And the winning team, they got 12 grand to split amongst themselves. 
And then after that, they go back to an individual challenge, which today was shoveling coal. And the two slowest individuals from shoveling coal had to go back to another head-to-head -head challenge for the elimination, uh, which was call, going with a, I don't even remember what the train thing called, the pump jack, the trolley, whatever it's called. The sea seahorse. I don't. I don't know what you call the thing. The <laughs> seesaw, not the seahorse. That uh, you you've seen in cartoons and old timey movies of people working on the railroad, pumping that thing down the track, and they had to go retrieve items. Slowest one gets eliminated. Uh, it was it was a lot to pack into a first episode. You know, it was. It was meet everybody, challenge, challenge, make teams, challenge, challenge, elimination challenge. Like it was a lot for one episode, uh, but very cool just to see a different kind of reality show with different kind of people doing things that are real. Uh, you know, that's one of the reasons I like uh, reality shows like uh, Alone or say Wicked Tuna or Deadliest Catch because people are out there doing things that feel real to me, you know. I also enjoy things like Big Brother and The Bachelor, but it all comes off so phony and so fake. Everybody, you know, scheming and playing it up to the camera and you're questioning is this person there for the for the right reasons but you know I don't have that for tough as nails and you know you can relate to the people you can relate to what they're doing and it just has a really great vibe like no matter who you are you can probably find someone on this show that you have something in common with you know whether it's a job you've had in your past or, you know, someone who has a story that you can relate to. Or maybe just something as simple as seeing someone like yourself on a TV show. And which does matter because this is probably the most diverse cast I've ever seen on a reality TV show. And, uh, you know, it kind of puts a smile on my face because, you know, it's a diverse world out there. And it's good to see that on the screen. Uh, I think that's going to wrap up my sort of broad overview and almost a recap of Tough as Nails Episode 1. But I'm going to go back and uh, try to catch up on this series because I quite enjoyed what I saw today. And look forward to getting caught up and seeing more. So that's it for now and we will see you later.